Hey everybody and welcome back to the Big Mukbang Theory. I'm KT and tonight we've got something extra special for you. That's right, it's Hawaiian cheeseburgers with fried pickles. Oh my God! Hawaiian cheeseburgers with fried pickles. Did you hear that? <laughs> Hawaiian cheeseburgers with fried pickles. We're going off the diet map tonight. I couldn't take it. I tried to eat like a vegan for a week, but I'm falling off the rails, I'm sorry. Ah! We, <laughs> uh, but you need a few things to make these. Obviously, you need some pineapple. I love to use dull pineapples. Uh, the, the pineapple slices that they make are really good and really refreshing, really sweet taste, and they just add that extra flavor. The other thing is the Lowry's Hawaiian uh, marinade. I marinate the burgers with those because those give the burgers that extra kick, that Hawaiian kick. You can almost hear the music right now. I'm seeing hula girls. I'm thinking about the beach. I wanna be in Maui. I wanna go surfing, you know, cause that's what you do when you eat cheeseburgers. Uh, and shout out to my favorite restaurant in Maui, Cheeseburger Paradise down in Lahaina. Um, great place. Uh, they even make burgers way better than I do. So if you're ever in Maui, you gotta make sure you go down there to Cheeseburger Paradise and you'll be amazed. Uh, they got a lot of different burgers, but you gotta get the Hawaiian themed burger. You can't go there without getting that. It's not far from the banyan tree. Um, I don't think I've ever known anybody that's gone there and hasn't loved the place. So tonight, as I said, what do we got? We got the Hawaiian cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting on you. Oh, I've been waiting on you. I've been waiting on you. Ah! Oh, you're so sexy. Oh, I'm going to do things to you. you. Got a slice of pineapple on top, the cheese. Um, and as you can see um, from the footage making this, um, it takes about 30 minutes to make all this. The first thing you gotta do is you gotta make the fried pickles. I usually start with them first because it's got a, a prep time of about 15 minutes. So what I do first is I get all my pickles and I lay them out. And once I get them laid out, I kind of tap them dry. And then um, I take them and I dip them in flour. And then once I've dipped them in the flour, then they go into the egg batter. And the reason you want to do that is because the the flour will help that egg uh, adhere to the uh, to the pickle. And then from there, you drop them into some panko breadcrumbs. And the panko breadcrumbs, um, that's what's going to give it that taste. And you put a little garlic powder in there so you can have some, you know, give it a little seasoning, you know, give it a little flavor. Um, you can even add some salt if you like. Uh, and then once you get those, and once you get each one of them, and then you just line them up on your sheet. And by the way, these are baked. These are oven baked, uh, oven baked fried pickles or oven fried pickles, uh, if you will, because you want to even though we're cheating tonight with this cheeseburger and you know getting a little down and dirty with it we still want to try to eat healthy so that's one of the ways that I try to you know just stay on track as much as I can and so once I do that then I line them all up on the sheet and then pop them in the oven they'll have a light golden brown and they'll be crispy mmm that crispy texture just like that Dip them in some Hidden Valley Ranch. The only ranch in America, Hidden Valley Ranch. Mm. That's how you start it off. That is how you start off dinner with your Hawaiian cheeseburger and your fried pickles. Oh my God. I've already been warming up the skillet. I dropped the burgers in that have the Hawaiian marinade on them takes about, I usually marinate them for about an hour um, before I cook them. Um, as I said before, y'all know my wife's a finicky eater, so she doesn't like a lot of things. 
but she really likes these. So I'm sorry, it's hard for me to talk tonight because this is really, really good. I just want to eat it. Ah! But once I've done the pickles, they're in the oven, the burgers are cooking. I usually like my burgers a little medium, a little more than medium, maybe like a medium, not quite medium well, but just past medium so it can still have the flavor. Then I add the cheese on it, and then once I add the cheese, I let that melt down, and now the burgers are almost ready to go. The only thing left is, once you get them out of the pan, put them on your plate, you add that slice of pineapple onto the pineapple flavoring, and then voila. I like to use a little mayo on my burgers too. Uh, mayo, ketchup, um, you know, I guess that's just a, a thing for me. I, I like those condiments on my uh, sandwiches. Oh, that alarm goes off. That's dessert. We'll talk about that in a separate video, um, but we're cooking up some stuff tonight. And um, so I just really want to get into this a little bit, if you don't mind. But I gotta take a bite. I have to take a bite of this burger though to see if it is up to par. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. That's how you cook that Hawaiian cheeseburger.
Now, I trust that everybody is out there uh, being safe. Um, you know, I do have to go to the store to buy, you know, the groceries so that I can cook, you know, or, you know, my wife goes out to buy them. But you got to make sure that you're being safe in this whole uh, coronavirus atmosphere uh, these days. Uh, and whatever your local, uh, you know, police department, government, whatever they're telling you to do to stay inside, stay safe or what have you, please be be sure to follow their instructions so that you can stay safe and also keep other people safe um, in this throughout this process. Um, you got to keep doing that. Um, and still, another day without sports. Um, it's still tough. <laughs> it is still tough. I'm used to waking up and and seeing highlights of a game and you know all that kind of stuff every day. And now I'm not able to have it, so it, it is still driving me nuts. I've been watching uh, replays from some of the old games, like some of the old NBA playoff games that they've been showing, and that's been really entertaining. But the downside is, <laughs> you know, if you if you live or work or been in sports, you know the outcome of all the games. So. You know, as it gets past the halfway mark, it's like, it just gets kind of boring for you. Um, but they got a lot of other stuff going on out there. I'm a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. Sassy, moody, nasty. Hacking, 